Hey, it's Greg, WJ6F. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you the BTEC 6X2 Pro DMR radio, and we'll get to it right after this. Okay, the items you get in the box, you get an earpiece microphone set up, you get the owner's manual, programming cable, wall wart for the charging cradle, you get the belt clip which connects to the battery which is a 3100 milliamp hour battery, the radio itself, antenna, wrist strap, this push to talk button is a Bluetooth push to talk button, this Velcro strap is for the button and this is the charging cable for the button. Okay, this manual is very well written. You will not need any kind of translation help with it or anything. It's a one language manual, so you won't have to sift through French or Spanish to get through it. Very comprehensive. They show everything in here, including everything about the battery, how to put the radio together. They give you an overview of everything. Show you some of the basic operations, like making a call, how to monitor. They even have some advanced functions on here, or features. They talk about the menu. And there's a lot of pages for that one. In fact, it's pretty much half the manual. Give you a troubleshooting guide, how to reset the radio. They even give you a quick programming guide. They talk about online service and support, some safety precautions, tech specs. Okay, at the time of filming this video on the Baofeng Tech website, the radio is going for $299.89. Same as on Amazon. With this radio, They've been a few advancements. One, you get 300,000 more contacts on this one than you do the original DMR 6X2. You also have up to 250 channels per zone. You get 250 zones, 10,000 talk groups. It's tier one, tier two compliant. All the firmware and stuff that's all done here in the US, as is their manual. Right here, they talk about real USA warranty and support. Here they talk about the antenna. It's SMA female antenna, backward compliant with BTEC and Nagoya SMA female antennas. You have the Kenwood K1 accessory jack for microphones, programming cable. This is APRS supported, both analog and DMR. GPS based roaming. They do have the Bluetooth, which is what that little push to talk button is for. You can customize your display. You can have it for either daytime or a nighttime style. They give you different scanning features, some of the other highlights for the radio. Now, if you come up here to the top right of the screen, you'll see support. And this is where you'll get the software, do firmware updates. I will be going through the programming of this radio in a future video, so keep your eye out for that. Again, here they talk about 10,000 talk groups, 4,000 channels, 250 con customizable zones, 500,000 digital contacts, 7 watt power output, and we will do a power test a little later on, 4 power levels. With the Bluetooth, again, this is your Bluetooth push to talk button. Really the only difference you're going to get from using Amazon versus the BTEC website is if you have Prime, you'll probably get it in two days. Here they talk about the frequencies, 136 to 174 megahertz for VHF and 400 to 480 megahertz UHF. And it gives all the same details that we saw on the Baofeng Take website. You can also pair these with their amps that they make. You have one for UHF, one for VHF, and they both put out 40 watts of power for using at the home or in your vehicle if you're going to make this a mobile radio. Okay, let's take a look at this radio. Starting on the left side of the radio, you got your push to talk. PF1, PF2, these are both programmable, as is PF3 on top. You also have your indicator of whether you're receiving or transmitting. Volume control on the 
right hand knob along with power. This selects the channel you want to be on. Your antenna on the right side. Open this up for any kind of programming cable or microphones you want to use. P1 and P2 are also fully programmable. You have your menu button, list button. With the center pad, you can select which zone you want to use, your usual keypad. You have the menu, which is which contacts, messages, call log. You can choose your zone, scanning, roaming. This is your settings. If you want to program a channel, you go here to number two, channel set. This is where you do new channel. It has all the info you need. Also change your power. Low, middle, high, and turbo. Wide or narrow band. This is where you input frequencies, your transmit and receive. Talk around. Name the channel. You can use the transmit prohibit if you don't want to transmit on certain frequencies or repeaters that are out there. This is your radio ID. You'll need to get that from one of the websites, and I'll put that in the description area. Color codes, time slot, encryption. We don't use that around here. Your group list, APRS receive, and it takes you back to the top. And then you can back out. You have your radio set for voice display, key functions, other functions. And that's your usual stuff, timeout timers, transmit timers, auto power off. This gives you your device info. I haven't put anything in yet, but it'll tell you what your radio ID is. If you name your radio, like mine will become WJ6F. Gives you your frequency range, tells you your firmware version. You can record things like conversations you're having, you have GPS, your Bluetooth, this is how you set up for the little Bluetooth tooth push to talk, APRS settings. That's pretty much all there is for the menu. It's not too bad. It's pretty easy to get around and learn. I'm going to do a quick power test on this radio and make sure that it is as advertised. According to the website, they're saying that VHF will put out 1 watt on low, 2.5 on medium, 5 watts on high, and 7 watts on turbo. For VHF, it will be 1 watt on low, 2.5 watts on medium, 5 watts on high, and 6 watts on turbo. Switch down to low real quick. Where you do that, go to settings, channel set, number eight. And it doesn't look like there's enough of anything coming out of the radio to even wake up the SWR meter. Let's try medium real quick. And on the medium it's saying that we're getting 1.4 instead of the 2.5. And we're using frequency 146.520. On high, we're at 3.46. And on turbo. Hey, turbo exceeds what the manual say they will. Okay, now for the UHF, we use 446.0, and we're on low, and we get 0 0.03. Now try the middle, and we're at 2.31, which is pretty close to the 2.5. Let's try high. And they're 3.4, which is a little lower than the 5. And now we'll try turbo. 
and we're only at four and it's supposed to be at six watts. Since this radio has the turbo mode, which is supposed to put out seven watts on VHF, I thought I'd start a little further out with the, this test. I'm gonna be on frequency 147.555. Testing WJ6F, testing. Testing WJ6F, testing. Oh, works like a charm. Okay, we're gonna test out the harmonics on this radio. Make sure that it's within the FCC requirement. I have it set for the start at 130 megahertz and the stop at 800 megahertz. I have the radio set to 146.520. And it's clean. No issues on this radio. My opinions on this radio, they're actually very high. As someone who shied away from DMR for years, not understanding it, not wanting to get anywhere near it, I finally gave in. I tried one other radio, and now I've used this 6x2 Pro from BTEC, and I think it's a great radio. For programming, I don't think it's going to be that difficult. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Comes with a lot of features. It seems very sturdy and robust. Has good weight to it. I'm not overly concerned about dropping it. I think it'll handle a medium-sized drop. I like the improvements they've made. They've over doubled the number of contacts you can put in there. And I think at 500,000, that is the entire DMR list of contacts with some room for growth. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos? And thanks again for watching.